All right, I think that's a pretty good plan. What do you think, Jeff? I think we can get a pond put in there. I think we can get the pond in, a couple house sites. And still be profitable. Still make money. That's good. Well, don't let it, uh, you know, make sure you get to them before things change up. Oh, ain't no problem about that. It'll probably be this fall before I can get there. We, I, I got you through the front of list, though. <laughs> fall? Well, it's been a minute, but we're back out here. Pool's waiting on us. Got to finish uh, cutting all the way across there for the foam. The foam's about an inch lower than the spiller for the wood. And then we got to do a little bit of something there, but that's about done. All this is braced up and ready. That's the uh, electrical conduit I talked about in the last video. Daddy Brown's out here today. You can tell him and James is twins. Happy. Well, good. Look at you. You finally got a measurement right. You're going to take the pre-bucks, stick them in here, go ahead and uh, secure them so I can finish this little bit of wall and call it done, which would be great. We got a bunch of rain, but it's pushed off for a couple days, so we can get in here and get a few things done and out of the way. And uh, we've made some changes on the house. So I gotta wait on the architect on a couple of things just to make sure I'm thinking correctly with uh, some changes. So some things just made more sense. So unfortunately, you can look at stuff all you want, but sometimes you just gotta experience it and see it and then, oh yeah, this would be better this way or whatever. So um, yeah, it's fine. Figure that out. All right, back out here to finish up a few things. We got the pre-buck in. James is making some uh, bracing. Give us a little more uh, safety on that. We're gonna tighten it up a little more. Quincy started on it. Put the marks, I'm gonna cut across, then I'll cut those pieces out with the Sawzall. And this doesn't have to be perfectly, perfectly straight, but it does help for it to be pretty close. Cause it'll be a tile that goes on top of the concrete and all that. Hopefully, uh, I don't mess it up.
Good morning. Well, at least for me. I was sleeping good when I started hearing the sounds of rumbling. Thought there must be a big storm. It may have rained, but not really nothing, so now we gotta go investigate. Guess they decided they needed less trees on their lot. They throw each other in the wood chipper. work to do so I'm gonna get over here and do it all right so what am I doing what is going on out here well so I'm putting in the linear main drains which are actually linear main feeds in this case these two so these two talked about this before but just real quick in case you're just tuning in these will go into a pump the other end of the pump is hooked to two matching linear drains in the bottom of that pool and so all that does is pulls water out of the dive pool pumps it up here which fills this with water and then since this edge is lower than all the other edges it spills over and dumps into the lower pool that's it i mean that's in a nutshell that's what happens so um so those are going to be there they're going to be pushing up originally we had it slated to put 12 returns in the wall that would tee in the six which would then go into the pump but we got to think about it. I was like I didn't really love that idea and I was like you know there's a simpler way just to do this and this made more sense to me too so that's what we're doing and then this is uh, the linear main drain just for the filtration for the upper pool and so you know on those we hook all three together into a three inch pipe um, on these it has the three outputs two are hooked together for the drain this one has a plug in it on the inside that plug will come out and be replaced with a hydrostatic valve it'll get feed down into the uh, gravel so it'll be under the concrete and doubtful it would ever happen up here since it's the upper pool and kind of where we're at probably never but it's cheap insurance but the lower pool has one too so if for some reason there was a buildup of hydrostatic you know water pressure underneath it would pop that valve it would feed that equalize the pressure and keep you from having other problems while chris is here he's been clearing trees over there he's going to dump a shovel of gravel in here instead of me having to or technically james or tater having to We'll bear it over and all that stuff. He's going to be nice and just dump that in there. This has confused some people. So when we pour the pool, we're going to pour to the styrofoam level, the top of the foam. Okay. And then after nothing's getting poured in there, after this cures, we take all these boards off. We finish putting the bubblers in. We got a three inch feed down there for the bubblers because it was slated for two and a half it's a lot easier around here to get three so we're coming out of that three and going into four bubblers so there'll be four bubblers right now they're evenly spaced in a line unless i change up and alternate uh i'll kind of give give some thought to that with uh mrs Beely good as well and we'll figure that out but Four bubblers go in here with four micro brights. We got, they take an adapter so you can run the same lights that are gonna be in the pool so everything's synced in the same color, temperature, and all that. So, after all this is off, 
this stay will stay on it's the extra little bit needed for the top so then once this cures we set all that up chris or us one of us because we'll be able to get the tractor around then so either way we dump in um gravel into here up to about this point lay some rebar in here and pour a top just like pouring a patio and that'll go up here and form the sun shelf so you'll walk out step in you got nine inches of water here got your chairs and all that crap set up i mean chairs and all that great stuff set up for tanning or whatever huh, look at that who's that huh, i must be back we haven't gone this way in a while. Hey. Yeah. I'm glad we kept all these big trees. Gave up a little bit of land to come in with the driveway, but I like this better. Here out of the danger zone. Uh oh. Man, you do work. Yeah, I figured we'd wake you up. Yeah, you did. Nice little stack. He's gonna let those dry out and turn them into, uh, get them sawn into boards and make a table or something. thousand dollar rate uh, you're gonna see some action over here now I know who to call when I need to get rid of something
You want a, a nature le lesson with Chris? Yeah. So this is learning a, with Let's Dig. <laughs> learning with Let's Dig. This is a beaver dam, and that is where the beavers have dug it and pushed the dirt up here with sticks. 
and over time it has actually turned into a dirt ridge between all the stuff rotten. But if you look at it, we're like 18 inches lower on this side and the water's higher over here. And as you can tell, it's recent because, you know, all those trees are dead, which were not dead until they raised this up and flooded all that. So, yeah, you have it. You got a little causeway right here, but that's as far as I felt comfortable driving the skid steer on it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, what you got? But I'll tell you one thing, you can walk back here a whole lot easier now, can't you? Oh, yeah, this was uh, much easier than our... I'll, I'll have to do a little fade away to our initial yeah, driving. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we it took 30 minutes and the tractor was over there somewhere. Makes sense. And then, you know, you forgot the key, so we had to come back out. <laughs> and then we had to do it again. And that's actually the trail right there we come in on. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah, and that's where you fond. had to cut that tree out of the side by side. Yep, fond. Yeah, yeah. Over there. It yeah. seems to be a little wetter in here now. It's definitely wetter than it was there. This makes a pretty good board over there. Yeah, that, it does. That thing needs to be sponsored. Has, I'm surprised nobody's jumped on that. I had a couple people in my videos that work this way, and they're like, this is what we tell people not to do, but we design it for <laughs> to do. Well, you know, you got to push the limits. Right, dog dog? That's right. She got bit. I seen that. Yeah. About what? Who knows? She scratched at it with her tooth, but we had the vet look at it. She's all right. I just figured people would notice in the video, so we were aware. In case you haven't noticed there's something wrong with your dog so if we not that we care so if this were to get plowed down or whatever then this would unflood yeah that would unflood huh. we just kind of take that and just dig that back where's the activist group hating on the beavers for changing the wildlife beavers don't do nothing it's, it's not a good dog dog video unless she takes a dump <laughs> <laughs> She's not got so excited about beaver dams. You gotta dams. go, you gotta go. So, I mean, it's now still... Back, it, make sure you step on that a little yeah. I mean, what? It still goes back another two acres. At least an acre. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, not that you can get through here, but I mean... I don't the, know how the surveyor got it there, but it is. <laughs> you can't really complain about that. I mean, you see how far down we are? Yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, this, this is just guarantee you that this is always going to be private back here. Right. Fools. Whatever. Good God, dog dog. Let me get up wind of that. Whoa, Ugh. Well, she was probably eating your pizza, wasn't she? Probably our pizza this time of day. Largest lands in the world. See, this is the... I'm right here. This is a nice little trail. Yeah, hey, this worked out nice. It's amazing how good you can mulch it on the ground. So I about want to just clear it all now. Can we just mulch it all? And we'll just have just mulch and stumps everywhere. Yeah. Well, it sure is a lot easier to get to this pond than it, it was sure before. Uh, about two more months it won't be because it's going to be growing back up. Dog dog approves. Yeah. Dog dog's pissed. Yeah, she dog dog's not happy that she she's in the back. back. All right, so we'll clear that out, make that into a nice big pond, put a road in, and clear for two house lots. All right, I think that's a pretty good plan. What do you think, Jeff? I think we can get a pond put in there. I think we can get the pond in, a couple house sites. And still be profitable. Still make money. That's good. Well, don't let it, uh, you know, make sure you get them before things change up. Oh, ain't a no problem about that. It'll probably be this fall before I can get there. We, I, I got you through the front of this thing. Fall? Fall? It's in May. <laughs> it's busy. You think I'm just riding around building pools and stuff like that? <laughs> I thought you were just change. I thought you were tired of chainsawing. I am. My next job is don't require any chainsaw. Oh, well, those people can wait. They're not a preferred busy good customer. So this one customer that I went and looked at, and he's going to watch this video and laugh, but he's been waiting about a year and a half. <laughs> well, I guess we can't push him off. Well, I probably don't need to push him off. Yeah. But he said if something else important didn't hey, come along. Exact. Hey, can you yeah. build a pond? He can make a mess trying. He can make a mess. Might take a minute. We'll All right, the, I guess we'll, we'll have that, to wait. We'll get the Kubota out there. Ooh. And I got the tractor. <clears throat> Remember that video I sent you? They know I'm coming. I know I'm coming. Know how to go. They'll wait. I'm impatient. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs>